Hi, my name is KD. Uh, the topic for this session is the OCI events service. This is actually the first part in the series. Uh, for this uh, topic, we are going to start with understanding uh, what events are and then why do we need them? How can we use them? Uh, they are very important uh, for automation and serverless kind of architectures. Uh, we will uh, look at the OCI event service, uh, start with an overview. I'm going to discuss the uh, key features of the event service, uh, what are some of the core concepts, uh, uh, what are events, uh, ac rules and actions, etc. And uh, I'm going to talk about uh, common use cases. Uh, we'll uh, look at one of those use cases in detail. And I'll also uh, give a demo of uh, how to uh, use the OCI event service in conjunction with uh, uh, with other OCI services. When you are uh, using uh, OCI, uh, the resources within OCI, they change their states. Uh, and what the OCI event service enables you to do is to uh, capture these uh, state changes uh, as events and uh, uh, based on the uh, rules and actions you specify you are able to then act on on these uh, state changes or these events uh, and essentially you can create uh, uh, automation uh, based on it so you don't have to manually intervene um, uh, on things and uh, rather than uh, continuously uh, polling for uh, uh, changes in your cloud infrastructure resources uh, you can uh, use the event service to subscribe to the events that you care about and then uh, automatically react to them in real and uh, in uh, I would say near real time uh, by using the uh, OCI function service, uh, by using the notification service or by uh, writing to the OCI streaming service for uh, later analysis. Uh, so what uh, event service also enables customers uh, to do is to get structured and version events from uh, OCI control planes and data planes. Uh, you would not normally have access to these uh, uh, resource changes at, at the plane level, but with event service, you can uh, capture uh, such events uh, from services like uh, compute, block storage, uh, the a database cloud service and object store service etc uh, so events is a is a very general uh, concept you know i'm using events in an overloaded manner event service is the name of the service but in general events are uh, commonly used in uh, in uh, server side uh, code and in in distributed systems the notion is that uh, whenever there is a change in state in one system uh, and uh, uh, that change in state is captured as an event and that event leads to something getting done in a second system. So two different systems getting connected in an automated manner uh, using that events is a very common pattern. And for distributed systems, uh, events are kind of necessary for uh, a loose coupling because uh, you want the systems to scale independently and uh, for that uh, loose coupling pattern uh, you know the information can be exchanged between these uh, uh, different uh, parts of the distributed system using uh, uh, events so that there is uh, uh, they can work in an asynchronous manner otherwise uh, uh, different uh, cloud providers uh, all uh, publish uh, events in their systems, uh, but it's important to understand the uh, OCI uh, strategy here with respect to events. Uh, the notion is that uh, you know providers, uh, all of them, you know uh, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and others, uh, they uh, they publish events in their own uh, format. Uh, you know, for example, there is the AWS. Uh, Cloud, cloud watch events and there is the Microsoft event grid uh, but you know uh, if you if there is no common standard uh, then uh, you as a consumer would have to implement custom logic uh, to uh, to capture those events and to act on them 
Uh, so what we have done is uh, the Cloud Native uh, Computing Foundation, uh, of which Oracle is a is a part, uh, has a open source standard called uh, Cloud Events. Uh, this uh, Cloud Events uh, uh, standard is what we use for the OCI events uh, service. So what this enables you is uh, is platform independence. So if you uh, use cloud events as the as your event standard, uh, then you can uh, use uh, the same um, uh, you know kind of uh, uh, code to handle uh, how to consume events from this cloud events standard. And this is the uh, standard that we follow. Uh, in OCI event service. I'm going to give you an example of what an event uh, looks like in OCI where it uh, follows the standard. So it gives you sort of an interoperability uh, and no lock-in uh, when it comes to uh, events. Let's look at some of the key features of the OCI event service. Uh, it enables uh, integration with uh, uh, three different uh, OCI services right now. Uh, these services are uh, Oracle Function Service, which is functions as a service, uh, lets you set up uh, serverless uh, uh, kind of uh, architectures. Uh, it integrates with the uh, Oracle uh, Streaming Service, uh, lets you set up uh, 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 event streaming uh, kind of uh, architect architecture patterns. Uh, and also, you know, custom integrations and to send uh, certain events data for analytics, etc. And it integrates with the OCI notification uh, service. Uh, with OCI notification service, when an events uh, event happens or occurs, uh, you can fan out and notify uh, the interested um, uh, people. Uh, and you know, it, uh, the notification service integrates with uh, email uh, delivery. You can send emails. It integrates with uh, uh, pager duty with Slack, and also uh, you can set up uh, custom URLs with uh, HTTPS endpoints. Um, there are uh, uh, six different uh, uh, services in OCI that emit events that can be captured by the OCI event service. Uh, and uh, we will look at these uh, services. Uh, these are compute, uh, storage, database, and notification service, etc. We'll look at those. Uh, it integrates with the identity and access management and monitoring services in OCI. So it's uh, uh, it's very well integrated with uh, with the OCI ecosystem, and you can write IAM policies against it, etc., and get uh, uh, the metrics from the event service, uh, which which can be very useful for you as well. And you can uh, use the OCI event service uh, obviously through OCI console, but also through the uh, CLI, and you can. Um, uh, invoke it through RESTful APIs, and for that we have a SDK as well. So let's look at some of the uh, common uh, use cases. Uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, it's uh, rather than pulling for uh, uh, something to happen, uh, you get uh, uh, to subscribe to events happening, which means that uh, uh, you don't uh, end up uh, wasting uh, uh, CPU cycles and there is lesser network traffic and uh, uh, you can act more in a real-time kind of manner. Uh, so anywhere, any pattern in which uh, these features are important uh, are a good target as a use case for the OCI event service. Uh, and let's look at a couple of examples, right, to make it uh, make it real. Uh, you know, let's say you are uh, a database admin is interested in knowing when uh, when a database uh, backup uh, in your autonomous database in OCI starts and when it ends, right? Uh, you can um, subscribe to those events and get notified uh, using the uh, Oracle notification service when when your database uh, this uh, kind of backup events happen. Uh, you can also uh, do automation. Let's say you uh, are interested in uh, when when some uh, file comes into your object storage bucket, you want to uh, change its format or create thumbnails automatically, right? And you can use the events uh, uh, service uh, to subscribe to uh, 
objects getting uploaded uh, into your bucket event and once that happens you can invoke uh, OCI function uh, to uh, take the automated uh, action of changing format or creating thumbnail or whatever it is. Okay, so uh, let's look at some uh, core concepts. Uh, within the OCI event service, there is the notion of events. So events within uh, the OCI event service is essentially an automatic notification of a state change as reported by an OCI resource that can emit uh, resource uh, em uh, emit events. Uh, and for example, uh, as I was mentioning, uh, the backup dot event begin event and the backup dot end event uh, for your database service is an example of event. And again, it uh, follows the uh, CNCF cloud events uh, uh, standard, uh, like we uh, discussed earlier. Okay, so what's an event rule? It's essentially a, a JSON object that uh, you create to subscribe to an event type and to trigger an action should that event occur. Uh, so it uh, allows you to uh, define a, a, a filter of some kind which matches uh, one or more field values within an event. Uh, based on that uh, rule matching uh, that you specified, uh, th then customer defined actions can um, are, are invoked. Uh, right, uh, and rules can have one or more actions defined to execute uh, when they are triggered. Uh, and that brings us to actions. Um, so rules uh, also specify an action, as I mentioned. Uh, these are triggered when the uh, filter in the rule finds a matching event. Uh, actions are uh, uh, responses you define for the event matches. Uh, there is a defined set of actions that you can choose from to execute. Uh, and the content of the event that matches the rule is also passed to the action. Uh, these uh, uh, actions can be uh, taken on the OCI function service, uh, the notification service, and with the streaming service, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, based on, on these, you can uh, implement a wide variety of, uh, of use cases uh, in OCI and beyond. All right, so this, this picture uh, should uh, help uh, clarify uh, the, the whole workflow in event uh, very nicely. And um, uh, you know, on the left, you see uh, the, uh, the OCI uh, services, which have resources that are event emitting. Uh, these are the uh, compute service. Uh, there is the networking service. For storage, there is uh, the block volume storage service as well as the object storage service, uh, the database service, and the notification service. This is the current list. Uh, you can expect uh, more services to get added to this list. Uh, and, uh, and then, you know, the events come in and there are rules. And from rules, you have to specify actions and uh, the three uh, uh, three services that can help you handle these actions are the function service uh, uh, for uh, serverless uh, uh, triggering of code, uh, the notification uh, service uh, for uh, alerts via email, page, or duty, Slack, and uh, uh, custom URLs, and the uh, uh, streaming service for uh, uh, routing for analytics and other use cases. Uh, so with that, I think I will uh, wrap up uh, the part one of this session. This should uh, give you um, a broad background uh, into why and uh, what of the OCI event service in the next part of the series. We will uh, dive deeper into uh, how you can use the uh, OCI event service. Thank you.